Okay, it's me again, and in the interest of keeping things consistent and complete, we're gonna go after this super square one. Now you recall I did a little bit of a, a recent update or recent response to a very good question posed regarding placing these on the square one. So I figured we'd tackle the super square one. Um, now I'll say at the outset, it's an entertaining puzzle, but kind of frustrating, and it is a marathon session. And it's frustrating not so much because it's very difficult, it just takes a lot of concentration, but I think just because of how it is put together, it's very difficult to turn at times. It's pretty smooth, um, all things considered, but uh, there are a couple turns where you literally feel like you're pulling apart the puzzle in order to uh, make the turn and pieces have actually flown apart. So it takes a lot of patience, but the payoff is there. So the overall strategy, how, how, how are we gonna do this? Well, this is kind of like doing a, a combination of a square one and a three by three by four. That's pretty much what this is. If this were the three by three component, then you've got four layers over here. So my solve is really gonna be pretty similar. It's gonna be actually exactly the same. And really what you're doing is it's like you're solving two of these at the same time. This is the, uh, this is the two by two, uh, the three by three by two version uh, of it actually. But it's kind of like what we're gonna be doing is solving uh, these two, then these two, or you can do these two, then these two. So, um, Let's see where things work out. The main issues, of course, we can visualize the top over here, the colors here, but here you can't visualize that. You actually have to um, figure out what goes where at what layer. Plus, we don't have a middle here to guide us. The other thing to keep in mind is this is an odd number. This is an even number, which means as an odd, we have a keystone here to define where the side should go. Here we don't. We have to just kind of figure that out or we're free to choose that. Um, so we're going to go through the process of scrambling. I'm going to try to get this as random as possible. So rather than watch me flub my way through it, I will complete the process by saying Hocus Cadabra. Okay, so this is actually kind of a hard one to scramble too because you want to make sure you're getting it as random as possible and it does take a little while to orient it. So, strategy. This is a kind of shape shifter um, that is entire edge shape shifting. It's not just rotational piece sh uh, shape shifting like we talked about in previous tutorials. What that basically means is my number one goal at first is to get it back into its native shape, which is the cube form or in this case, the cuboid form. And basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing it the same way that I did with the square one and even this, this little guy here. It just takes a little bit of doing. So I'm gonna focus on this two in here and I have to kind of visualize what I think is going on. The overall strategy, of course, is you wanna make sure that you've got, you wanna pile these up as much as you can. And you can best do that when you have even numbers to put on so that you can make something that looks like a fish on the top and a star on the bottom. So we'll try this here first. I see that there are three here, one here. Anytime I see odd numbered ones, I'm gonna to try to pair them up as quick as I can. What I should maybe do is move this three down to match this so I can have four. And forget the fishtail for now. So I'm gonna carefully move this here. I'm gonna to try to show the movement as much as possible. And I can't move it from this standpoint, but this top I'm gonna to try to match to the one down here. So I'm gonna move it like so. So these are all in line here, so this can move. And this actually can move. So watch what happens. Although it can move, I have to gap it to kind of make it happen. And that's the real kind of annoying thing about this particular puzzle. So this actually can happen, but look what I have to do to make it happen. Line it up just right. I know it's gonna be able to do it. And then in order to do the move that I want, I have to very carefully turn. See how it's gapped? It's like it wants to fall to pieces. But anyway, I got my one, two, three, four here. And I got my two here. And I don't have any, and I've got my two here. So as long as I have that, I pretty much got it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this even one to here to make six. So I'm gonna very carefully move this in line here. Okay, so I wanna move th these two down to match this six over here, which means moving this 
until it's all the way at the end here and hope that it can move. Yeah, so it can. So these two can reach that. I just have to move it without destroying it. At least, not unless I destroy it on purpose. Okay, so there it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I have two over here. As long as I've got even to even, I should be able to make it happen. So let's carefully move this in place. So you can see how it just takes a lot of patience and positioning, make sure the center is okay. And this is gonna move down, so I'm gonna move this all the way to the end here, like so. And with a little bit of luck, pleading, prayer, bang. Okay, now picture this. This is my star here, and this is my fish here. And this is a very rickety puzzle here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work on getting my cube in the middle layer over here. So I hope you follow that. Now to do that, all I have to do is um, put it in the middle here. And I'm just gonna hold my top steady so that it, okay. So you see what I mean? Okay, fishtail is over here. Turn, bang. Oh, that clicked in nice, thank goodness. Now things should be symmetric and I'm just gonna move it in terms of that symmetry. I'm not gonna work on the bottom yet, so I'm just gonna turn this until it symmetrically clicks into place. There it is. And I just have to move it from here. Turn this like so. All right. So now we turn it. Ha. All right, imagine these are butterflies in the center. To move the butterflies into formation, I have to bisect one butterfly down its center, one down its axis, like so, and turn. So right now I'm doing nothing new than square one strategy. Pow. Okay, now imagine this is the shield. These are both shields. So, now they're nice and symmetric in the middle. Turn this over here, you have to turn the top here, obviously. And will that work? <laughs> Line it up exactly right. Take a couple of deep meditation breaths before doing this. Otherwise, you'll end up with a smashed puzzle because of sheer frustration, but I think we're okay, ah, and turn. Okay, so you see that the middle is in a square form. Now what we wanna do is the same thing, only apply it to the top and the bottom. Same technique. What we have to do though, is we have to prime the top, uh, the, the middle layer like this. Because that way, no matter what turns that I do, this will stay as a square, stay as a square. So let's take a look. Even, 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 even. Oh, okay, so we have a quasi butterfly butterfly, squashed, blended butterfly. But as long as we have two evens, we pretty much got it. We're just gonna match evens up. So I'm gonna build onto, say, this one. We'll move this one there. So I'm gonna move this one down to match this guy here, keeping these, quote, primed. Move it. This didn't change. We now have four here. Just add this two to that four. So move this over. I uh, will have to do it all the way down here. Wrong way. All the way down here. Move this down. We have the six. And now we move these two in, which I can do by moving this like so and moving this down. Is it gonna fight me? Is it gonna fight me? Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, there, so there's our fish formation at the bottom. Here's our star, and there's a real big chasm. Don't even sneeze. Turn this over here, and then carefully, cautiously, nothing falling out, good, okay. So this is fine, and you know what to do from here. 
We've now converted this top and bottom to basically a square one. All the super is taken out of it. Turn it over here, butterflies, bisect it here, bisect it here. What I like about this puzzle is you utilize the pictorial aspect of your brain. Here we've got our shields, so move this up like so, move this up like so, and bang, and you got it. All right, we've got our square form.